It often seems like the technologies used in process analyzers and the applications where they're employed are always rapidly diversifying, while the actual values that users need to secure remain surprisingly basic and consistent. This situation resembles the lunch buffet where individual items continually change from day to day in the fruit salad, while the diners always come back for more simply because they're hungry again. Still, the sheer diversity of process analyzers can make it hard to know which are the most useful for each application. Hi, I'm Jim Montague, Executive Editor of Control Magazine and ControlGlobal.com, and this is another Market Intelligence Report from the Process Automation Media Network. The topic for this report is Process Analyzers. In May of this year, we sent out the survey on which this market intelligence report is based and collected close to 150 responses. Here are some of the most significant results. Because their data needs are consistent, the respondents report using seven primary types of process analyzers. Close to 80% use pH analyzers, 67% use conductivity analyzers, and almost half use water quality analyzers to check turbidity and dissolved oxygen. Meanwhile, 45.5% report using online gas chromatographs, almost 30% use oxidation reduction potential analyzers, more than 28% use online spectrometers, and 10.4% use specific ion analyzers. Next, close to 78% report that they use process analyzers for real-time monitoring, while more than 66% use them for closed-loop control, and more than 60% use them for open-loop or supervisory control, while just over 31% use them only for history and record-keeping. When asked if they use online process analyzers for environmental compliance, just about two-thirds of the respondents acknowledge that they do, and just over 6% reported that they will in the future. Meanwhile, 27.5% said they don't use process analyzers for environmental compliance. However, though many users employ process analyzers, close to 60% of the respondents said they have no ongoing process analyzer technology or PAT program. Conversely, 18% report that they do have a PAT program, and 10.5% are thinking about establishing one. Close to 13% add they don't have any plans to set up a PAT program. When asked what communication method their analyzers use, an overwhelming majority, about 85%, use analog, such as 4 to 20 milliamp or 1.5 volt, which are point-to-point -point hardwired communications. Still, Ethernet and various field buses also seem to be gaining ground. For example, almost 39% use Ethernet, 33.5% use Modbus, 31% use Hart, 12.7% use Foundation Field Bus, and 11% use Profibus. Meanwhile, 8% add their analyzers don't use a communications method, and 4.5% said they are just beginning to think about digital communications. Finally, we asked how much maintenance do process analyzers need, and almost half of the respondents said their analyzers need minimal maintenance, 29% said their analyzers need some added maintenance, 17% they have significant maintenance issues, and 2% each report having major maintenance problems with their analyzers or problems that are so big that they had to get rid of some analyzers. This has been another Control Market Intelligence Report from the Process Automation Media Network. I'm Jim Montague. Thanks for watching.